I'll have to apologise. Can you hear me? Okie dokie. We'll just wait till we've got so many viewers. But hi to everybody who's joining so far. Say hi, Collect. Hi, everybody. Still on live chat if anybody wants to come on and say something. Yeah, let us know where you're from. We're just waiting a few minutes just to get a few more viewers. And like I said, somebody's just come on and said hi all. Hi everyone. Let us know where you're from, please, folks. And then we'll. Uh, I'm going to show four lots of doilies, but they're these are the packs. So I'm showing four of them. So that you can see, they are roughly the same. Somebody's just said, hi, Dee, when I have bought off you before, it's been from you, Boutique. So can you explain how to pay for things you are selling tonight? Yes. If you bought from me from the store, you will have used PayPal. It's the same thing. If you want anything from here, like a, one of these packs, you tell Colette when you've seen them and when you've seen the price, when you've heard the price. If you're interested, just give Colette your name and your email address, and then uh, I will invoice you tomorrow for the full amount. Yeah, we need to know whether you're UK or overseas, just so that we know we can give you the correct shipping because it does differ between the two. We're 50 up here, plan at the moment. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to start. People can look back on the video, you can look back and watch this. So what tonight what, what we're doing is it's doily and crochet scrap lace trim sale. When I say scrap lace, there is nothing wrong with the lace at all. It is crochet trims. But um, I'm also adding in other things as well. Now, this is one pack, but to go with this pack, you also will be getting some doily, there'll be smaller doily mats or doily uh, tablecloths the smaller ones you know the round mats or square mats and uh, I couldn't fit them in here and they wouldn't work anyway so this is what I've done from home so I'm going to share and show you four packs I'm just going to say, they same size? they're all about the same size you get the same same amount in you know a, a good variety of doilies a good variety of trimmings and when I say trimmings when I've cut up a tablecloth and it's left me long strips of the edges that are you know like scallops it's those yeah. as well so that I mean they do if you're a fabric bookmaker you know doily bookmaker if anything like that or making flowers or like Margaret does where she does the bottles and think you know what I mean the fabric bottles are absolutely perfect for that kind of uh, crafting all right yeah, if you use doilies and use doily um, section, you know, pieces, you're, this is ideal for you. Now, like I say, there is another lot to come with each bag, and there's uh, more trims. There's also, um, I'm going to put some satin, double sided satin ribbon in. We're getting good. Hello, hello, everybody. So you'll be getting satin ribbons on top of more doily mats and this bundle here, okay? That way. I'm just going to make sure we get it the right way. So I'm just going to run through what's in this pack. And um, with four more packs, I'm going to share with you just so you get an idea of what's in them. Okay. And they're roughly the same amount, but they do vary in what's in them. Okay. But you're going to get plenty of doilies and plenty of doily trimmings. So just this is just some of the doilies in this particular one. As you can see, nothing wrong with them. Uh, this is a piece of trim. Everybody will have that. And as you can see, look, I don't even cut this section off because you never know where that section might fit in. But it, look, they're half a doily, more or less. 
and all of this gorgeous, gorgeous trimming. You just don't waste it. You've got to use it up. And there's fair sizes, fair size pieces. So are these kits in your shop? Or these no. Just no, they're only here on the live show. If you want, no, we've got doily kits in there and they are all doilies. These are trimmings and doilies. And you're getting fabric and ribbon as well. So you're actually getting more for your money in this kit than you are for the ones online. Um, a nice big piece of this. And there's only eight of these available. Which is the super soft. And it is super soft webbing. You can see how it just flows. Super soft webbing. A nice big chunk of that as well. It's just beautiful. It makes fantastic soft flowers. So they'll all get a piece of that. Like this, look, I cut a mat up. So I've managed to get seven pieces each, plus the little tiny ones as well. So, you, you know, you'll get those. Four of you will get that one. Four of you will get another one. Very similar. And there's some fabric there, look. Just didn't want to waste it. And it's beautiful. Am I right way around? Right, okay, there we go. <laughs> Done. Look, it's only a small piece, but it will do a pocket or something somewhere. Everybody's Just... asking for you how much the kits are. Right, these kits, like I said, there's more to go in them. There's ribbons, pink and cream, double satin, plus more fabrics, more doily mats, complete ones. They're not cut at all. Um, and the whole kit is £20 plus shipping. But if you're a, a fabric bookmaker, it's ideal kits. Different size doilies, different style of doilies. Little butterfly, look. Little doily butterfly. You know, so you, so, some might get um, a hat. This doily. Look at that one. These are pure cotton. Just repeat the price in UK and dollars to Right, we've just worked out the exchange rate. It's £20 UK, £4.45 shipping. Um, if you don't want to have it signed for, it's only £3.45. It's up to you whether you have it signed for or not. I mean, we we generally send every parcel out to be signed for in the UK, so we know we can trace it. It's for your own benefit, for the quid more, you know. Uh, overseas is £20 for the kit and £7.80. And excuse that motorbike guy, uh, chap, lad, whatever he is, because I could wring his neck. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, the shipping for overseas is £7.80. That's together, £27.80 for overseas, including shipping. We've worked it out at the exchange rate today is $35. And the exchange rate is £1 equals $1.25. Was it 25 collect? Or 28 $1.28. Okay, right. Like I say, there's all different doilies in here. Is that one? Look at this one. This one's beautiful. Look at that. So it's not crap scrap. <laughs> Somebody might say it's not crap scrap at all. Only three of those. These four here are more or less identical. Um, oh, look at that one. That's just gorgeous, that one. Look at that. All can be cut apart. Um, another one of those and those. Got some smaller ones because we waste nothing. Never waste. Oh, there's some more of those. I tried to put in a good variety. We've got um, this trim. Now, I, there are some trims I haven't washed. I don't wash them. And um, that's up to you to wash. I don't do that. I wouldn't have time to do anything else if I washed all the doilies I handle. Uh, this one. Beautiful scallop. Look at this. The scallop on that. 
And then if you just cut that bit off, what a gorgeous gathered. You do it. Look, just picture it. Gathered trim for a book or whatever you want to use it on. Another one of those. One of those. Look at this one. Where do you get your needle from, Fee? Which needle? The long one? Yeah. We sell them, but we're waiting for them to come in. You can get them on eBay, and you know, and not saying you can't, but they are cheaper with us. <laughs> and then it choked me bloody self then. <laughs> I look at that one, it's beautiful. this one look at that there's embroidered pattern on that look if you swallow chewing gum will it do any damage to you i've just swallowed my chewing gum <laughs> <laughs> nearly choked myself as long as my poop don't come out stewy uh, chewy <laughs> i'm all about stringy <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help that. That would have said it. <laughs> I know that I don't want to wipe my bum. And that was me. <laughs> oh, God, my jaw's hurting. We're laughing. Oh, well, <coughs> what I thought. Sorry, folks. Sorry. How many's going to leave me now? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I'm sorry, folk. <laughs> but look. Oh, that tickled me, did that? Well, I've never swallowed chewing gum before. Now, that one's actually stuck onto two pieces of tool, but you could. You've got. Either. Look, you've got a bag. You've got a bag. <laughs> or two toilets. Um, I've put a little bit of this in because you never know when a bit of frill comes in on there. See? They're just things for you to craft with. So we've got some smaller trims, which are these. I mean, they're not much different to what you're buying. On, oh, God, that's going down my throat. I don't like that. Can you cough chewing gum back up? <laughs> Oh, I better not disturb her. She's busy. <laughs> I didn't like the taste of that. That was awful. That one. Oh. This one. I mean, look, even though that's only a piece, it will do the edge if you've got a photograph or something. Like me. I'm going to show you something later. That's why I've got this. But look, if you were to put that, just sit it behind the photo like that. You've got to think outside the box and think about, or even down one side, see, like that. Oh, sorry, do it that way. I'm upside down, aren't I? You know, just fit it on to something like that. Just gorgeous trims. Never, ever, 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 ever waste them. Right, um, only two of you have got this particular one, but you'll get something else. So it's just a piece of fabric that you, it's embroidered, so you could add bits to that. You might make a pillow, as that a front of a pillow. So that's that one. Some more trimming. Look at this. How many kids did you say you had? I've got eight. This one, this is super soft. Love this one. See? And I just don't want to... Well, I don't waste them. I'm No way do I ever waste them. That's that one. Again, you get your scallops on the edge, and then you've got this, but this can be cut from this. So you can make a pocket with that, or whatever you want to do. Background on a card or a tag, or... Um, this one. I've left these bits on, but I just trim them off. 
I mean, I'll just show you what I do with these. I'm going to show you what I do with mine. And I've just made that doy at that um, butterfly with that. I'm hoping you can see that a bit clearer. Look, it's a doily, and it's two halves butterfly. I'm going to show you how to do that later. Um, I made this one out of doily, two halves. Let it focus, because you don't waste anything. Another one there. Again, it'll make a butterfly. Some trim. Some pure cotton. This will make um, strips of cotton, which I all I do is I just trim one side down and then stitch that together, stitch the way along, and then pull all the threads out, and you've got a shabby flower similar to that material. See how it's frayed? That you can, and that, that is just sorry. Oh, that was good. Thank you very much, everybody. But look, so it's just a piece of fabric that's left. It's a funny shape. I don't want to waste it. Two pieces. There's two of them's got this, but there'll be other fabrics as well. You just don't waste anything. More of that. There's loads in these kits because I've got loads to put in them, especially. And the um, ribbon is double-sided satin ribbon. See? They're just pieces that you can just put in a flower. You've all seen me make my flowers. I just use a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and you end up with a shabby sheep flower. That's how to do it. Just trims. I love this one. Look at that one. See? And then, <clears throat> again, that one. This sort I do. You see, it's all hand crocheted. Use them in my flowers. And there's just bits and pieces like these that you'll find in there. Now, that's kits, the first one. How many kits did you originally have? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's eight kits in total. For now, I mean, if we have any more offers for any, I can do more, but I've only done eight of this particular kind. This is mixed with the trimmings, the um, doilies, uh, and the fabrics and ribbon. And the doily mats that has also got to go with them. So you'll you get, I'll tell you what you'll get. Two bags like this. You'll have two bags like that. One will have all your doilies and your trimmings in. The other will have the mats in and the ribbon. And that's what you'll have. Okay. It's the same price. It's all together. Right. I'm just going to share this one. They'll be randomly given out. There's no, you know, we're not saying, oh, I'll have that, I'll have that. So, again, more different doilies. With these smaller ones. And they're all gorgeous. Square ones. Fancy ones. more of those different one again look at this one it's just beautiful and let me put them down then we've got this one this is a pink one uh, this one this one one of those again Love this one. Beautiful little doily. Big range there for you. There's a big range in there, yeah. Look, even that's a hat. Look at that one, Colette. That's even got a hat. Like a doily hat. That's got one of those in. It's on canvas. Um, and it's... 
Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. This is the doily. It's on that, and it just peels off. But it's as I got it. There's another piece there. It's got like um, I don't know. They were glued together like that. I think somebody was trying to make something. I mean, this is what I'm saying. As I buy them, look, that's that hoarded. Look at that. So the one that didn't get the shabby one, you know, the uh, fluffy thing. Pieces of pure cotton. This cotton, I have to tell you, is over 80 years old. And it's super soft cotton, pure cotton, and it makes fantastic flowers. Yes. We've still got them in the shop and them from the other night as well. Do they not know? Yes, but they're not advertised. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will go and put them kits in the shop. Because there's, well, I'll tell them, there's a four pound kit. There's a eight pound cut off kit. Get them out and. Uh, there's a four pound base kit. There's a mixed half length kit. Just to explain first, though, the four pound kit, it has six uh, yards of lace in it. And the only reason why we're doing a small kit for as four pound is that we suit everybody's purse because some people can't afford other bigger kits. So we do do the small kit. Yes. There's the fifteen pound bundle kit. Yes. Then the eighteen pound fancy kit. I received one of them and I did a review video and put it up on my channel. So one fancy kit, go and see where I am because there's loads in the fancy kit. There's Well that's your go tell them what your is because your website is. If you want to go look and collect done the video on that particular kit, which is the fifteen pound fancy kit, and that yeah. is um country creations, creations with a K. Okay? Yeah. And then there's the fee secret um kit. The fee secret lace kit is all laces, nothing, no trimmings, all laces, um, and you get a free gift with that one. Look at this. Again, this is a um, hundred year old lace. It's a cuff, part of a cuff. There's a piece of that in it. So you're getting some bits and pieces in. I'll go across a, a tag or something. And again, that one. See, they do vary, but they've got beautiful, beautiful trims in. Again, that one. And they're the ones that do the butterflies. Again, pure cotton. It's gorgeous. Look how it frays. Gorgeously soft. And this is a scalloped edge. So you can just chop that, stitch your pieces together, and then make your flower. Your flower. Or you can have a scalloped flower. But it's pure cotton, and it's years old. This one. Can you remember how much your fee secret surprise kit was? Yes, twenty-five pound. There we are. The C's secret kit was twenty-five pound, but you did get a free gift with it as well. But it's chocker full of laces, and they're the yeah. more expensive laces that I sell. So they're like the one pound fifty-two pound laces. But you altogether, it's a thirty odd pound in it. But I'm doing it for twenty five pound, a, a deal. Yeah. It's had fantastic feedback anyway. It's just a piece, but it's big enough to do something with on it. You know when you're doing a, um, a wall hanging or something like that, and then you start. I did it. 
I haven't got it with me. And I did all the um, tassel trimming and then I put the lace on and then I did the top layer and then I did the pearl. And it just is beautiful. It's just a piece of tool, gathered tool. Another little one there. This is a mat. Oh, I love these. Look at this. See, when, like I said, the other one that's the shabby material, and remember I showed you the rosette material in the first one? Well, because I didn't have enough, I had enough for two kits, but I didn't have enough for the four, oh, for the eight. And so each one I'll have something else that's just as beautiful in it. And look at that. Cut out or used as is. It's just stunning. I don't really want to fold that much if I can help it. Again, here's the uh, soft, super soft tool, big piece. Don't forget, it's got to have all the laces to go with it. Each one's got seven of those. If not this one, it'll be another one. Piece of this one. And again, that fabric it's in this one. And like I said, together with that bundle will be another bag. It'll have doily mats in um, and doily um, cloths that you can cut up and do what you like with and double-sided satin ribbon in pink and cream. And the satin ribbon, you will get two sizes. You'll get the inch and a half and the inch, um, yeah, the inch and the inch and a half. So you're getting four metres of ribbon as well. That's a good deal. Here's another one. This one's got that little butterfly in. Oh, sorry, that way. Like I say, if you don't want this bit on, just chop that bit off and you've got a beautiful long trim like that. Here's some doilies. Vintage colour. Different style. This one can be cut individually, so if you want a smaller one. There's another one of those. Beautifully um, uh, soft cotton. Um, this one, again, is about 80, 80 years old, actually. With embroidered flowers. Uh, one of those. That one. Those. This is gorgeous trim. And that on a vintage book. Let me just see if I, it is a full doily, but it's the edging of the doily. It's really hard to show. It's, it's soft, but each petal, each scallop is a flower. But it's old. The full piece there. And we've got this one. And then this one is just for the leaf, for the, you know, when you're doing a flower and you want that section and your flower sits here like that. Super soft, thin cotton. Again, one of those, and that's the mat I think it was on. I don't know. It's the kind of like glued it together without the page this one look i'll tell you about this one i put it in because 
I started this and I, I'm not going to unpick it because you might want the beads. But if you unpick that, this will look exactly the same as the other one. It's just an embroidered piece and you get some beads in the bag and there. They're just hand stitched in. I was trying something and didn't like it. I didn't want to unpick it because I thought, well, free beads. <laughs> Super soft, beautiful. I don't know if you can see this. For that it's just a piece of super soft trim again piece of trim might want an edge somewhere this beautiful like i said this is over a hundred year old this one that one That one. And that's quite big. Do you want to explain to everybody about the exchange rates and the changing daily? Yeah, I'll just let me finish this colour and then I'll do it. Again, this is all I've cut off and made these with half on there, half on there, half on there, half on there. From them little scallops of doily. So out of that, you can get one, two, three butterflies. You know? Two butterflies from that one. They're beautiful for I can't believe that, I mean, normally people would cut them, throw that away. Butterflies from it, no, no. Again, the cotton. It's pure cotton, that's why I put it in, it's super soft, and it frays dead easy for you to make a shabby flower. So it's folded up. You've got about three pieces. I like that. Stitch them ends together or glue them together. And then just a running stitch across it and do yourself a flower. That banging about is because I'm having the garden done. <laughs> I've just had some flagstones laid. For my dogs to have a run about on. Small piece of this, but again, it's just a beautiful trim. Now, you know, down the side of a picture or round up the edge of a picture, you know, and just a little gathering it like that. Again, you know, like half a doily. I can go around the picture. I never, ever, ever, ever throw anything away. And that's just like a shaggy. And if you use that, double up like it is, right, and just do that, look, the corner of the page. You could make your own trim out of um, doilies, Kata. Well, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, I could do it as well. Yeah. I've seen yours. You made lovely trim. But you know what, even though I'm like, you just got that th with three pieces on, two of them will make a, a butterfly. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just better than wasting. And things like cut off like that would be so handy if you're doing a fabric book or something. So exactly. Like you want to use small pieces when you're doing a fabric book anyway. Yeah. Now it is a, a lovely trim. See, so like that. Like I said, there's not just this. There is a lot more to it. This one's got that kind of fabric in it. So you can cut the flowers out and use them somewhere. Just don't waste anything. Again, that's got the frilly one. But that'll go on the bottom of a tag or a, you know, make a start of a trim. Where's that trim I did the other day? I haven't got it with me. I've shown, I've got videos how to do that anyway. Another little doily. Again, that trim. The two at uh, the um, webbing, super soft. It's gorgeous webbing. It makes stunning flowers. Seven of those with the little ones as well. 
pure cotton trim. This is about 80 years old. Somebody says, standing as always, Fiona, beautiful doilies went into a charity shop in Cassie, three pounds for a small one. Yeah, don't pay them, buy them from us. You get a big bag full for 20 quid. Of all different sizes. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody says, I love the instructional videos. I'm learning so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You have to go watch Colette's videos. She takes you through it step by step, don't you? Yeah. I like her nice comment today. Somebody left me saying how they like my thought process. Yeah. Because it's, you know, when you're doing something and you can think of other things to do and ideas come flowing, share them, and it's nice to be able to do that. Right, I'm just going to show you this last one because I've only got four here. But there is eight altogether. Okay, so let's start. Oh, this is slightly different, slightly different trims. So we've got a nice big chunk of that one. Oh, little um, butterfly one. Some of those. Some little ones. So you would get like, I don't know, loads of fabric books out of this. I know. This I could make a whole book out of I this. Thinking that. I think you'd get at least, if you were doing a big book, at least to get two, three. No, if you were doing a big book, I'd say you could get one, one big book. But if you were doing a smaller book, or just two or three pages to a book, yeah. You're going to get two or three books out of it. Yeah. You've got to be inventive with it. Somebody says, V, do you make the brooches in your store? I don't make them, no. I do design jewellery, but I don't make those. I design silver jewellery. And then have that made up. Again, this is just, have you seen that one? Collect. Yeah, they're absolutely stunning. Do you know what I like about it though? There's unusual, there's not just your average round or anything, <laughs> they're, they're all. Yeah, but you know why? Because I don't just look for the normal doily. I have to, when I go shopping for doilies or when I get my supplier to bring them to me, I always say, she goes through all the ones at the auctions and she, I, yeah. I tell her, I, they have to be unusual, they have to be different to the norm um, and the older the better. And she does really, really well. She's been supplying me now for two years. Somebody's asking, could you use older handkerchiefs to make flowers with? Yes. And I'll tell you what I did with I one. Make flower for that. No, do you know what I did? Do you know what's the easiest way to do it? What? Take two handkerchiefs, if you've got the square ones, yeah. especially yeah, if they've yeah. got a nice frill or an edge. Up the middle and leave an inch towards the edge. And then right. you put a running stitch all the way around on one, pull it, then do the next yeah. one. And because the corners, you'll have a flower with four corners. So you that's why you need two. Right? So then what you do is you alternate the two flowers together. But you just cut the middles out and do a wow. running stitch all the way around. See? I know, I'm going to have to try it now. We, obviously, you need to. If you can get on with a little frill. Yeah, I, I've got my um, handkerchiefs that yeah. she never, it was yeah. like a pack at the ship and a draw that she never opened. Yeah. But I'm going to have to try it now. Yeah. Because you have to pull it in. Yeah, pull it in. To get the size and the shape. But because the square, you need two and then you alternate them when you've done them. Wow. Yeah. I've done some gorgeous flowers with them, I'll tell you. 
again nice big chunk of that and I, again i'll tell you if you want to there's two leaves on there two on there you cut that out like that and you add that to your projects with your bling or your flowers and there's loads on there to cut out Beautiful doily, love those. Again, that's got, oh, it's got two. Pull them. You know, the, you know, like the, I call it the webbing sometimes in doilies. You know, where you get like a, like a webbing. Yeah. Got it on that doily all the way around. Some people throw it out, but I quite like using it on my project. Yeah, God. You know, when I did that shadow box and I had like, pattern doilies on the back that's what i used yeah. i just cut strips of that and put it on yeah. and it gave it texture and these are so pretty to do doily uh, to do butterflies with and then if you want to i'm just going to show or i'm not going to cut it you cut that off and then what you do is you just do a little running stitch three quarters of the way down so let me just see i'm going to show you that way okay so say that's one wing so you do yeah. that's halfway move down one one little scallop or yeah. scallop if you're common like me and just hand stitch through that and pull that in and you've got a small wing and a large wing oh, yeah then, done for you, really. then you take your piece of card cut a piece of chipboard as the shape of a butterfly and then you can attach that to that or leave as is and just put it on your project with a central piece in it. Need for a central piece is a bead like that to join the two together. Well, and they look stunning. Hints and tips and trips. No, not trips. Hints and tips are meant. <laughs> hints, I call it hints, tips, and tricks. That, well, that's what I meant to say. Hint, hint. Oh, <laughs> I've. Right, that's just a piece of. Um, cotton fabric that's been gathered but it'll do around the picture frame somewhere look you can imagine it round a frame or something like that like margaret does again this is not for this but i've left it on because I, even small pieces like that will come in handy you can cut a square of that off and put it on the back of something but it's this trim here This one. Somebody says, wow, what a wonderful idea, Fiona. I'm going to use a few of my mom's handkerchiefs and add them to a project for my sister. Yeah. Well, like I said, if you just, if you say that, sure, let me just cut this into your hand. Only because you don't want to cut too much off because then you might get the wrong size flower. If that's your hanky, yeah say you've got a pattern or a frill here then you need to just cut it about an inch away from that so you'll cut it like that and then you do a running stitch all the way around but you don't waste this because what you do with the center is you make it into a circle yeah so you cut that to a circle oh what you want to say you you can like do a little circle of a running stitch in the middle of it yeah? yeah and then when you've gathered that up you sit that in the middle of the flower you've just made uh so you've got to leave that inch or inch would you say an inch yeah if, if you've got a border you need to leave it an inch and cut it and then the central piece you've cut out round off yeah. the corners and then do it um a bit round the middle like that cut that bit out and then hand stitch it round the middle and that will also make your inner flower for your main flower you. you waste nothing you. you absolutely waste nothing and that's the whole of your flower made with one hanky well two hankies because you can do the other one as well yeah, you get a really full handkerchief, I should imagine, if you, you do too. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You'll double layer the main one, the main bit you're cutting out. Yeah. And then the central piece, round off and do both the same. Do one slightly smaller than the other. 
three four layered flour. Okay. They do. Again, this is more of those. Again, the pure cotton, and like I say, just snip. Not all of it. What you do is because they're only strips of pure cotton, but it's super super soft. Take that off. You can glue that on, or just give it a quick hand stitch. Fray one side. Um, there and then pull it to make a gorgeous soft flower and there's some more to make a scalloped flower it's in that one again this was just a small piece of um shabbiness but you know if you just want that and, and cut that into a circle and then add something to it it's just shabby and it's super soft Those trimmings. This one's gorgeous. Do you, they just want a little bit of a press down. If you just flatten, quite easy. This one's got beaded trimming. This is a piece of uh, seed bead trim. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay. What the hell are they doing out there? I'll have a nice new garden when they're finished. He went to, you know, like a reclamation yard. What's that? Where you buy second hand flags. Oh, right, yeah, I know what you're on. Yeah, there. well, we, we've got family who has uh, one of those yards, so we went to them, so we got it cheap anyway. <laughs> we got it cheaper. And we managed to get our flags. It's a nice, pretty oh, one. Wow. Birds will have somewhere nice to sit and feed then. Oh, well, yeah. I love my birds on the morning. After, oh, it's a hard job getting up on that deck, though. To climb up on the deck to have my cup of coffee to look out the window. So I've got them to move my bird table so I don't have to do that. Oh. And tomorrow they're putting in the arch. You know my arch, garden arch. Do you remember when I went up to uh, that antique shop with Julie and I bought myself my unit out me? I retired early. Yeah. I bought that arch. It's stuck in a shed. It's never been out. So they're going to put it in for me tomorrow. Fuck. So I can start seeing the benefits of my. Love the hanky idea. I'm sitting waiting for Ray to interrupt her. I'm filming her. He's not allowed. He's had his orders. He's had his orders. He's been told to. The guys are doing the garden, so he can't leave them outside. So he's been told to stay put and do as he's told. <laughs> Don't when let him. Hey. The neighbours knocked the door for you last time. To the night last time. What are you on about? He's, Sorry for you, are you tired? What? He's joining a granny's club, you told me. I'm not joining no bleeding yeah. granny's club. <laughs> I'm only messing. I don't even want to be a granny. The door and asked you, the neighbours knocked the door and asked you to come out and play. I thought it was highly rude of you to say no, I'm filming. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've changed my mind. I don't want to be a granny. No, I do. I've got to see our Bobby Joe. She is a hysterical you lot. Remember, Bobby Joe only two. Oh, there's a couple of pieces in this one. She's um she oh she's funny. You you think she were four? Oh she's nuts. Absolutely bad. She just reminds me of myself when I was her age. So I don't feel sorry for him. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for him. I was a good kid. Somebody says, what time is it? Is it there, collect Central US, 1.47 p.m.? It is now. Go on, tell them then. Collect as soon as you were asked. I'm going to do it then. 7.48 p.m. night time. 
7.48 p.m. Yeah. Again, the super soft fibre. It's absolutely gorgeous. And don't forget, for anybody who's just joined us, we also have, there'll be two bags, all of those laces. I'm just going to share this one with you because we do put an extra special one in. And this is, um, yeah. I'm just going to say you've got two kids left, if anybody wants to grab them. Right, okay, okay. But look, that would just use as a skirt on something, wouldn't it? If you cut this off and then gather that up, can you imagine? Look, I'm just going to try and show you. Can you imagine that on the page of a book? If you were doing like a dress form on a... On, on a, a dress form, yeah. yeah. See? Beautiful. Anyway. So they're the four kits. Now, I'm just, I've got a, a job to do. I'm not going to show you the butterfly on here because that'll take too long. And I'm tired tonight, but I'm going to show you. I've got a job to do for myself. And I'm going to do it while we're doing these kits. But anybody who bought the kit, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And um, two bags coming your way. Full of goodness. Right, I've marked out this picture uh, because I've got this paperweight and I know it's pretty. It's very pretty. But I don't want that. So I'm going to halter it. So I'm taking that off and I've drawn around my shape. I want that. As my paperweight vintage picture. Oh, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get that to stick to that, and I'm wondering because this has a sticky back if I can get that off. Yes, I think. Oh no, look, which is going to ruin that. I'm going to keep it because that can go somewhere else. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that off, actually. No, but let's cut this. Somebody's just said, yay, thank you so much. I finally get to see a live show. I'm excited for my kids. Thanks and happiness. Oh, who was that? Now you're going to Oh, Artistic Breeze. And welcome, welcome. Is this your first one? I think so. I haven't seen a name before now. Well, you need to go watch the other ones. You can still watch the ones you've missed. Um, because some of them are very funny. <laughs> this was about that chewing gum, wasn't it? That was all your fault, anyway. But you never answered my question either. Well, I got told that if you saw the chewing gum against. I don't know whether it's no wives' tale or whether it's actually true. I got told if you swallow chewing gum, your kidneys stick together. Far apart. Well, too far apart. I mean, yeah, I know, but I just want to make sure that when I've passed it through, it comes out in one chunk and not stringy. It's a melon time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like swallowing that chewy. I want. I might go make myself sick. Actually, <laughs> that's really bad, isn't it? <clears throat> sorry, folks, but I'm. I'm really sorry. We lost people for that. Oh, come on, get a sense of humour. What do I do? Wait, wait, let me just I, remove I, you. Oh, what? Says, I watch them afterwards, and you're so funny. I love your channel and tutorials. Hugs, um, blog, you're so funny. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, but I can, I can be really naughty sometimes. Oh, I, do you know what I want to say? And all, I've got a complaint. <laughs> I can't help it. 
Why have you, yeah, but does anybody know if you swallow chewing gum, does it pass through a hole or does it come out with stringy? Because you could be sat there for hours trying to wipe your butt. Couldn't you? Can you imagine it? I dare to think I'd have to call doctor and tell my Um, oh, folks, and now I haven't put it on, I don't think, but we have got this back in. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to find out uh, whether it does it or not. We have got the tacky glue, but I could only get the smaller one. This is a 60 mil, and um, it's a quid, a pound. I haven't put it on, but I'll go put it on. Somebody says, no, ha, 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 it passes through, he, 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 he. Yes, I know it passes through, but does it pass through all or in strings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's got to, I'm hoping it passes through. Shut up, you. It's got to pass. <laughs> I'm in trouble if it doesn't pass through all it wall at once. Well, if we know you're missing for days on end, you're sat on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's awful, isn't it? Somebody says, I love your down-to-earth personality as well as your crafting talent. I don't know. If you, can you see what I'm doing here? Probably not. Um, cheers. No, I've got a complaint now. I'm going to make a complaint, ladies. And if you're watching the person who did it, I think you're out of order. And I'm going to tell you straight to your face. Do you know what happened? Two people actually put a thumbs down on the my new grandson and granddaughter's video. Two, they put thumbs down when I was showing pictures of my grandson and my new grandson and my little granddaughter. And I'm thinking, go get a frigging life, you lot, will you? You have to do that with children. You shouldn't be here, you shouldn't be on this planet. Sorry, I had to say it because I couldn't believe it. I was gobsmacked when I went to have a look at that video. Somebody's just pop, really? Yeah. A brand new baby, less than two weeks old, and I was showing and sharing. When he was smiling at, at camera when I was yeah, doing no, that. Yeah, I know. And they've put thumbs down. Their freaking life. You shouldn't even be on this earth. Somebody says, that's really mean, big sack. That's just crazy. I know people say, don't say it, we'll just ignore them, but I just... I want to know, I see, I maybe should have gone to study psychology because things, the, the, yeah, but they fascinate me, why people do things, it fascinates me, and I'm thinking, why would you, if you've just got a picture and a little bit of a film of a little brand new baby, cootie wootie, smiling at his nana, and you're putting thumbs down, for what reason? Exactly. What makes you tick? Tick off. I said tick off. The thing is, if they don't like you, then they don't like you. Yeah, but they shouldn't be bloody watching if they don't like. Well, yeah, but if they don't like me, they still come and friggin' watch. That's the thing. Anyway, enough yes, said. How, how miserable their lives must be to do that. Of course. They are wackles. <laughs> Somebody else says, you reminded me of Mr. Brown, ha, 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 when her husband drank window clean and she said, his shit came out shiny. worse as they get older. It's your fault. Hello. So, according to Google, so somebody's Googled it for you, Lock. According to Google, it passes through intact, so no panic, Mr. Man, wait, wearing. Oh, right. Thank God for that. 
I was terrified. I was going to say I would shit myself, but I'm not. But I was terrified. <laughs> oh, well. Listen, for any newbies, you're welcome here anytime. For all the oldie ones, and I don't mean that disrespectfully for age. I'm on about old timers that have followed me for ages. I am what I am. I am what I am. Oh, never mind. I won't sing. No, I'm not going to sing. YouTube Friday. Julie's home. Yay! <laughs> Somebody says, I want to hang out with you guys. You're so, you're, you're too fun. Going to make me pee my pants a lot. Listen, I've peed myself many a time. Lots of times. When I get giggles, I do. I fiddle myself. Waiting for my 20 foot workshop built by my friend's husband. <gasps> My house looks like it's been turned upside down and given a good shake. Can't wait to get cracked in <laughs> Listen, I bet, well, a lot of people's craft rooms look like, oh, look, it's got a nappy pin in this. No, it's not a nappy pin. A, pin. a lot of people's craft rooms, my, my needs tidying up. I do it every now and again. But, I, you know, if I tidy up, I can't find what I've frigging lost. Yeah, the thing is, in my eyes, a tidy craft room in a craft room. Well, that's debatable because there are some good crafters, well, good crafters that craft but keep a nice room. Be like spick and span. Oh, mine will never be spick and span. Right, what I'm doing with, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm going to do the same with this. I don't, I like this, but I don't want it. So it's, um, I like me vintage, vintage one. Oh, look, I've just done that. I'm not bothered about the picture, so it's going. That was my fault and a shame on me, but there you go. God, if I'd have known that, I'd have just sliced that. Hey-ho. No, I don't. I, I could cut that out. No, I'll keep that and cut that. See, I can't throw it away. So what I've got here, and I'm taking the glass out. I'm getting a piece of paper. Let me get a piece of card. I'm just going to move that out of the way. You've got two darling kids left, see? Thank you very much, everybody. Now, I've got some of this heavy gesso white. So I'm going to... Oh! Uh, uh. oh see, I don't call it... I call it gesso. Gesso. Well, I first called yeah. it gesso, and then I thought, silly ass. Is that they were doing? Do you know so you use and she's going gasso, gasso. <laughs> I remember gasso. that. I remember that. Listen, I haven't even washed this frame, right? I'm just I don't want to wash it. It can go on because the more vintage it looks, the better. Somebody says, Baby are beautiful and carry on you to making us laugh. You'll be sending for ten at lady at this rate oh no it's awful i know somebody once said to me that they'd be they were sat having the morning coffee in the cafe and um, they were watching a video of mine and they just spurt out all the coffee all over the table well it's not my fault it's not my fault i wasn't there i was on video but i wasn't there so i look out what's it no blame for now None whatsoever. But if you want to watch funny videos, if you really do want to have a laugh, go watch them about the stories I tell. Oh my, not the stories, the stories are right. I'm on about the stories of the antics I've got up to. <laughs> yeah. Somebody says, Fee, we have spent many late nights together as I sew for my shop. I never get lonely because I stay up till 4 5 a.m. crafting, and you are the one who keeps me company hour after hour. Oh, that's lovely. Why didn't you ring me and let me know? And I'll be there with you. With you. Hello. You know. Oh, Wendy's joined us. Hello, Wendy. How are you feeling? Wendy's just said, I peed my undies when I was pregnant laughing with my mum on a red velvet chair. On a red velvet? When? When she was pregnant. Oh, when she was pregnant. I'm on a red velvet chair. Oh, that's naughty. Wet, wet, uh, uh, back up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that really got my tongue twisted then. That's because you swallowed your gum. 
can't get your words out now. I know, I know. Wendy, I swallowed gum. They've had to look it up on internet just to see whether it comes out in strings. Oh, <laughs> oh whether it comes, comes out all. Oh, that's bad. Somebody says, what is guess? No, it's not called guess. <laughs> What is guess? You nana collect. You call it gesso. It's bloody gesso. What's it used for? Is it white paint? Somebody's asking. Uh, yeah, it's just like a water-based paint that you put it on. You can. It's like a primer, so you can seal wood with it and things like that. Or just put a couple of coats on and then paint over that. Whatever you want to do with we'll it. Call it we'll call it gesso, and then I'm no, you have a clue what you're going on about. Nope. Um. What was I going to say? Did Wendy answer me? What? Wendy. She's no. answering, but she's going lo, 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 years ago. No, what I was saying is, um, I forgot what I was really saying now. It's gone out my noggins. Oh, about whether your chewing cum comes out stringy or whether it comes out whole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they've looked it up on the internet for me. No, no, I was saying, if you have you ever wet red velvet? Well, not don't matter what colour it is. Have you ever wet velvet? Have you seen the fibres that can come off of velvet and velour? Oh. Because they shred tiny, tiny, tiny uh, fibres everywhere. Uh. That's why, after cleaning velvet, if you clean it regular, say if you have a suite and every year you had it cleaned. It would end up bald. They're bald because they're only small fibres. Bet you didn't know that then. No, I didn't. Well, you know what they say. You learn something new every day. Yeah, that chewing cum doesn't come up stringy, and that red velvet has got small <laughs> fibres on. <laughs> Ow! I've just burned myself on my glue gun. Oh, Wendy just said it's just been. Refurbished. Oh, he's being refurbished. What? She's already peed herself on a new refurbished seat. I'm not sure. Have I missed something? I don't know. Wendy, what are you on about, love? So, new. So, new seats. The pub had. Oh, when we, somebody's asking when will we get billed for the doily kit? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm billing everybody. I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm too tired, but I will do it tomorrow. Right, for those of you who don't know, if you're new to crafting, this is a heat gun. And um, this has come from um, Ranger. It's a Ranger make. But you can buy this at most dealers uh, or something like that. Any craft store should do them. Or you could do what I did today. Oh, well. I was, I was embossing something. Uh, well, the hairdryer wasn't working when I was using, so I thought I'd get my blowtorch out and do it, and I nearly set fire to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing, but you'd already told me that one. I can't believe you tried a blowtorch to do your embossing powder. Well, it worked. <laughs> The bloody table have got on fire, you nutter. I was going, fire, Chris, fire, you can walk, walk, fire! <laughs> Honest to God. Can't take some people anywhere. Right, I'm, all it is is a metal frame. I didn't want it that yucky colour, uh, the vintage colour. I wanted it a little bit more shabby. Um. Um, and the only thing I've done apart from that is to cover this. I just wanted a nice picture underneath it and not the flowers that was there. But this one, I just, I'm going to get another picture for this. Right, somebody says, what's the difference between a heat gun and a hairdryer? Fee and collect. Right, a heat gun. <laughs> a heat gun is more intense heat. It's a proper burning tool. Whereas a hairdryer is just a, a heater. So this is a, you can actually burn things with this if you hold it on long enough, which you couldn't do on a hairdryer unless it was 
down there like that. That's the only way I can describe it. This is a proper bird. You know, you can see it. Look, can you see? I'm not sure you can see it. I burned my camera. <laughs> There's a flame in it. Not a flame. It's all you see. It's lit. So you have more intense heat. Oh, when, when you said when heat, when blows. That's what I mean. That This is a heat one. So it's more intense heat. And then the um, hair dryer is just a heater, basically. One blows and one heats, like she says. Well, they both blow because it's blowing out. Just it's more intense. Do you want to tell everybody about the joint kits? Yeah, I know you've already showed them, but we've got some new people seeing. All right. Well, welcome to those that are new. We've got these doily kits. Like I say, I, you'll have to go back to the beginning of the video. I'm just going to let that cool down because that's metal. Um, there'll be two bags. You've got a bag full of what we call the full doilies and doily bits. When I say they're like sections of doily strips, all different patterns and textures, um, scalloped. There's some uh, big sheet of, what do you call it? Webbing. Super soft webbing in there. There's fabric, like cotton, pure cotton fabric. Um, and every one of them is different, but the same amount. The other bag will have cream and pink double-sided satin ribbon. And it will also have doily, full doily mats and mini tablecloths or something like that. Oh, wow, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Right, so let me just see because I need another picture. Oh, God, my dad used to say that. Picture. Right, I'm just going to draw around this. So I've chosen the picture that I want. Just going to position that right how I want it. That down. There we go. Draw around there. And then just chop that out. I did go onto the shop this morning. I put all the scissors up that we had left, the soft grip ones as well. Um, I added all the wedding bags that were available to alter. Uh spools of um, fibers and super soft and natural string the poly, uh, uh, what do you call it that bandage stuff mod rock somebody calls it um, Bash B, would you know what this lady wants she says i'd like a kit with the creams and pinks if available and could you tell me the price did yeah but what is she asking for pinks and cream what she doesn't say so. She needs to tell me really, doesn't she, what she wants. Yeah, but I'm saying that doily bag there has all the doily bags has another bag with pink and cream ribbon in satin ribbon and doily mats. So you get two bags: one with doilies and doily trimming, and then one with doily mats and ribbons. That's what you get for the whole amount. That is the whole kit. Adam, Right, I'm just going to give this a quick, here's a quick wash with a bit of cloth and a bit of water on it. Like that. Just a bit of white. And then I'm going to fit that. Oh, you nana. Honest to God, Fee, sometimes you're slack as my ass. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't hear that, folk. But we all make mistakes. <clears throat> now, let me just check. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, what a difference. Oh, that's nice, that. I like that. Not happy with it altogether, though. And for this, I think what I'm going to do, let me just take that backing out. I think what I'm going to do is just attach a little bit of glue to support that. That'll do. That's done that. Like that. Now, because I just like a little bit of glam, I have some... I know it says I stickled, but I actually make my own. I do have a video out on that as well. So I'm just going to take the top off of that a minute. Take my little brush and just use a brush with some of the stickles. Um, somebody's asking, has V ever done an altered Altoid tin tutorial? An altered what, love? A spelling. Hey. Altoid, no, I've not even heard of it. Even Wendy's asking what, what, and I, what, what did you say? Something tin is. Well, look it up on the internet if you can. Oh, can somebody look it up on the internet what it is? Might be known something different to us. Oh, yeah, that's true. Now, just put a little. Oh, God, look. See, that didn't even dry. Just let me get rid of that a minute. But what I've done is I've just put a shimmer of glitter around that. And then. Are those tins are breath mints and come in a small tin box? Oh, I right. No, but I tell you what I have seen. I've seen somebody make a miniature room out of one. I Lock and put the key. Yeah. Did you uh, leave me root tape measure? Gate locked. Right, okay. Cheers. You down it morning? Yes. Somebody's just saying that looks good for you. Do you know what? I'm actually going to cover it, I think. I'm going over it. I like the glitter. And I'm going to use this on a project tomorrow, I think. I'll use it on a project, and because I've not got time to do it tonight, um, we'll choose a winner. Choose a winner. And I'll do the project, and then they can have the project that I do. We always do a giveaway. Come on. Uh, me choose a winner, okay. We need to start writing names down as well so we don't double up. Um, I know. Morrissey, I can't think of her last. Morrissey. Morrissey. Morrissey, have you? I know what you mean. I can't remember like her first name. Uh, Oh, Morris Morrissey Arts and Craft Design Studio. Is it Chris Morrissey? Yeah, you've not. She's not won before, has she? Because we're trying to do it on people who have not won, so that everybody gets a chance to win something. No. Just want to no. double check. That's all. 
I'll check. I'll just check now. No, right, that's fine. Morrissey, uh, is it Christine Morrissey? Yeah, Morrissey, I think it's Christine Morrissey. You've now won this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a canvas tomorrow. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a canvas using up my scraps so people can see what a few scraps can do. Yes. Yeah? I call them scraps. They're not scraps. It's all lace, lace trimmings, but I call them scraps. Just ask her a first name again, because I, I there's that many people I deal with. I just can't remember everybody, and I do apologize. I think it's Chris Morrissey, but I can't be sure. But I'm going to ask them. Yeah. Make sure that it's um, she hasn't won before only because I don't want you know, I want everybody to have a chance. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I think, tonight is write all the winners down so, like you said, we don't double up. But no, I don't. We need to go back on the old videos though for the last couple of months. Yeah, well, I've, I've sent them over by email. So all right, okay, yes. Yeah. Oh, right. Conversation. Is she? That's what they're saying. Oh, oh can you go for, scroll back up and see? Anyway, so what I'm going to do tomorrow, I will film this project uh, so that you can all see it uh, using up the doilies um, and my, you know, bits and pieces from my box so that you can see what I do with it. And we'll make a 12 by 12 plaque, okay? And then that's what I've done, gone from the flowers to this as my paperweight. And I absolutely love that. That way. Collect, can you not see now? Oh, sorry, Beth. That's yeah. all right. And then that one. If okay. you're facing me, then it's the right way. Yeah. So yeah. if you see it shimmer, that's but, it, yeah. yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Oh yeah, she is you. She is you. What's just ask what her first name is? Is it Chrissy? Morrissey uh, Art and Crafts Design Studio. Can you tell me your first name and your email so we can send out what you want? I just I know I can see the name, but I can't. You know when you just it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember it. But I deal with that many different people. So I'm just going to move out to one side for a minute because I do want to uh, show you some of these. And like I say, I'm going to come back and show you this. Shannon. Uh, Shannon, that's it. Shannon Morrissey, yeah. Shannon, you've not won before, have you? I don't think she has. But look, these are made from doilies. And I'm just going to, I've got some cut-off doilies here. That's all I've used, or some of the half ones. And then all you do is you just chop down. You don't glue them on as they are because you do need to, um, for the size of the butterfly that I needed, I had to separate them just down the middle so that I get that middle section in. But otherwise, it wouldn't have covered the wings because I only use small ones. So then just say for argument's sake, that's your cardboard or card if you want to do it on card and then you just cover your doily like that see how mine wouldn't have worked because it's come off here but i would have had to do it like that so squeeze it on just like that and then you do the other one like that yeah and you glue them on and then you just turn them over and cut around the edges and then you end up with a beautiful pattern now, I painted mine using the gesso, and then after I did the gesso, that's when I used the stickles, and then I put the diamantes on them, like this. 
um, and then a little bit of chain down the middle. But that's all, you know, these are the, the ends of these doilies. That's all you need for trimming. I'll just share with you. Not that one. Let me find one that I can share. Show you which I mean. This one. Right, if I was doing a smaller doily, a smaller one, look, I just cut that, trim that down, and put that on. And you've got a perfectly good, it's slightly bigger, but you could do a smaller butterfly, and a perfectly good um, butterfly. Then you can, this, just little stitches, through that, through that, and pull that in. And you see what effect you get. Like that. So what would you use for the middle, just a piece of wire? No, all I did, I made myself some antennae, which are very, very easy. I'll show you how to do those. This is, I might as well show you how to do them. They are so easy. You take your bit of wire. Let me get my pliers. Um, they're not hard to do at all. You don't have to get them equal to start with. Bend your wires like that. Now, what I do with mine because you've got to glue them onto a project, I nip them. So I nip them in like that. And it leaves like a loop, a little tiny loop. Yeah. And then I separate them at the top when I've made sure that they're both cut the same size. Silly. Come on, Fiona. Okay, so you've got that shape. And then all I do, take the round nose pliers, Curl them once that side. Curl them once that side. And if you want them any smaller, just use the tip to bend them in. And that makes perfectly good antennae. And then you can use these like flat, or you can, I do it like this. I just go like that, pull in, and you can shape them. All right, okay. Can you put like another side? Oh, stick on pearl things. Could yeah. Yeah, well, what I've got is when I did my butterflies there, which I'll show you on the video when I do them, but like these, these are like little diamantes. And you know, like a diamond has like a point underneath it. Yeah. Well, well, that's this sort here. So, what I do is I turn them on the flat surface. So the top of them is upside down. Take hold of the glue gun. Whoops. This is the easiest way I've found to do them. Right. Put your glue. Oh, do you know what? Meh. Honest to God, Fee. Come on. I turn the glue gun off. Oh. Take your glue. Yeah. Bob a bit of glue on there. Yeah. And then you just pick them up like that. Look. And then the points sit in the loop you've made. Always. See? Yeah. And then that'll dry clear. Oh, yeah, because I was just wondering how you were going to pick them up because they're so small. Well, I've got a pick-me-up tool that somebody very kindly gifted me a few years back, but um, at lost. It's in the room Sorry. somewhere. I can't remember where I put it. But it's just easy to do it like that if you're using the pointed diamante. If you're using the flat ones, I just want to turn them upside down. If I'm using that's these... Just, that's, oh, that's clever. It's just an easy way to do it. I'm just going to find two flat ones, so I need two the same. Not everyone will turn over as a different colour. Yeah, they'll do. Right? It's exactly the same. Players, dear, players. Okay, so we've just got a bit of flexible wire in the middle, kind of. Pull it together, nip it in the bud, nip it in the bud like that, you see. They're more or less the same. Round nose pliers. Use the bigger one at the, at the bigger end because it's small and big. Yeah. 
like that pull them in with the nose of the pliers just so that they if they're a bit big that you've done pull them in a bit and you twist with your hand what do you mean twist my hand i just do it with the nose with the nose of the pliers Take like when, you, when, you, when you put the nose, when you put the nose of the pliers on the way, I oh, just yeah. twist your hand. Yeah, just twist your hand. Come on, glue. Right, just put your glue on like that. As you it's on the wire. Yeah. Now you can do one at a time if you want. Right. I have no idea what it is. It doesn't say what it is, and it's just wire I pick up at the car boot. So, and uh, I'm not a, a thingy on wire. And then again, pick it up. So, um, Twenty-two gauge wire would be suitable for this. Yeah. And let that dry, and it's just an easy way to do it. There you go. And then that, that sinks in then with your doilies because you've got your doilies each side. No, what you do with that, what you do with this then, just say that's your, where's the butterfly? You show you what I've done with mine. Might be that one better. All I do that you've made a little loop with, make sure your glue's all over that and then you just sit it onto your doily or your card and let that dry i use your hot glue mine on because it's quicker like that so i'm just going to leave them upside down to dry and that's how you do them that's how i do them okay so i hope that's helpful um, a couple of questions for you Phil. yeah says, please can i ask are there special stronger glue sticks on or are amazon good some of my projects come apart um uh, see i only use um a milky one clear ones at all i don't like the clear ones one they clog up too much and two i think that they're they're awful <laughs> and you, your projects can come apart with the milky one i've never found a project sometimes it's hard to take it apart but i never use a lot of glue either is that, is that the colour of the glue stick? Yeah, it's milky. It's called a milky stick. See, I've always used um, clear. And I don't think it's going to clog up on my glue gun. No. There's, it's di just different glue. This is, I find this a better glue. You only yeah. need a little bit. If you notice, I say a dod of glue all the time because you just need a dod. And it, it's sometimes your projects are really hard to take apart. So that's why I never, ever use a lot of glue. Yeah. Besides that, it'll be stiff anyway if you use a lot of glue. But the milky one, I find, is the better glue to use. Okay. And you can use this in, a you know, um, in the really hot glue guns or the... Because you get too heat with them, don't you, with some of them? Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's asking, are the kids available in the shop? The ones from tonight? No, they're on here. Now, we got, there's, one left. there's one kit left from tonight. And like I say, you can go back to the beginning of the video and you will see that there's absolutely heaps in them. And um, we have got kits on the store. The lace kits I'm going to put on, people have asked for them time and time again because we keep selling out, but I'm going to put the new lace uh, kits on, which is the £4 kit. That is, you get six yards of laces, gathered laces, and the reason why we do it at a £4 kit is because it's got money to spend. We suit all purses, so we do a £4 kit. We do an £8 cut-off where you get, uh, they're just cut-offs. We do a £6.50 card makers they like it. They're gorgeous. Yes, that's right. Um, you, you do a mixed half-length kit, which is £14. Is it, for, was it 14 Was it? 14 yeah. mixed half-length. Mixed, yeah, and they're all half-lengths, half a yard. 
and you get about 25 um, different ones in them. Yeah, you've got the bundle kit, lace bundle kit. Yeah, that was just a mixture of everything. Yeah. The fancy lace kit, which is 18. That's gorgeous, oh, that one. Yeah, I mean, they're all gorgeous. Collected the, she bought that one, she's now filmed it. You can find her, her film of that kit on um, Country Creations, Creations with a K. And that's uh, Collect's website. Website. Um, I put it up today because... She's done a review, on not I was so impressed with how much lace, because there's tons of lace yeah. um, in that kit. Then there's but Fee Secret that, Kit. So that I was just going to say Fee Secret Kit. Sorry, love. Yeah, there's Fee okay. Secret Kit, which is, it is a £25 kit. It is jam-packed full of laces. But they're the higher-end laces, although they're all high-end. They're the more expensive ones with, that I have in the shop, which are the £1.50 a yard, £2 a metre or whatever. They're that kind of lace in that big kit. And that's a £25 kit. £4.45 shipping for the UK, £7.80 overseas. Um, and you do get with that particular kit, you do get a free gift. Something to alter, something to do. It said they've seen my video that I put up today, and she said, Seen it today, eyes were on stalks. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, I want people to come back. I'm not out to make a killing, far from it. I'm here to help everybody to craft whatever budget you have. And it did originally start with the lower end budget people because I know how difficult it is to craft using good quality items because the money's tight. That's how I started off. That's why I ended up with the shop because I started selling laces good quality laces that the high streets are selling at a quarter of their price because I knew I could get them from the warehouses and that's what I've done and I've continued to do it yeah and I just remembered you've got that boot lace kit as well with the pattern the shabby sheet boot my god do you know what we've sold loads of them and I'm telling you now it's one kit I don't think I'll ever go out of fashion it's a vintage boot but there's enough yeah. in it to do two boots or a boot and two shoes. Yeah, you get... It's a humongous kit. The yeah, you, you get fabric, the pattern, the lace, and everything to decorate it with. Yeah, and go look on the... Just type boot, Jenny644, and see the ones I've made. Um, if anybody's received the boot, because I've sold all the boots, I think, uh, the ones i made, if any of the recent orders and you've got the boot in it because we sold three i think last week um let me know when you've done them because i'd love to see what other people can do the fabrics in there you've enough to do two boots or one boot and two shoes and the the pattern's already cut for you you just have to cut it out i've had some sent some pictures sent to me and it, it's stunning what they've done but look, we can do any kit you want. Because didn't you say you were going to, if people sent in the mix from the kits, didn't you say you were going to? I'm putting a little video together, and if you've um, made anything with anything that you bought from the shop, send me your pictures, and I will do your video of showing people's makes. Shannon Morrissey said, the kids are to die for really. They are this. This lady got me hooked in one video a few months back. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm bad girl. Huh? I'm a bad girl. I'm a bad girl, and I don't care. How's that then? Um, I've really enjoyed this tonight, actually. But uh, Shannon, this is going on a project for you. You've been chosen to win the project, and I will do come back and do the video tomorrow. We shall do a kit. I mean a kit. I'll show you what's in your kit and uh, tonight's kit. And use the goodies myself and show you what you can do with them. How's that? Kim is asking how much is the kit 
Original kit right, if you're on about tonight's kit, which is the doily kit, and there's one left, is there one left? Yeah, still. Yeah. Uh, they're twenty pounds, four forty-five shipping, seven eighty overseas. Altogether, with the shipping and the kit for overseas, it equals thirty-five dollars, which is good. What are you getting? And that's the you get kit two bags. Yeah. And then um, all the other kits we mentioned. Some of them are on the live shows, which you can go back and have a look. Yeah. And the rest are in the shop. I've also got on the shop a ten pound, a twenty pound, and a thirty pound um, mystery kit. Mystery kits. We sold quite a few of them today, this week. Yeah. And you know what? It's be, the mystery kits are fantastic. They really are. I, all I can say is you're getting bling, you're getting beaded string, and you're getting laces, but you don't know which ones. Oh, they've been fantastic feedback. All you have to do is run along and get them. Um, somebody says, oh, Shannon says she's truly on it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, love, but you haven't got it yet. <laughs> Hang with us I tomorrow. Make, I will make a note of everybody this one, so everybody will have a chance to win. Nobody will, nobody will double luck Yeah. my giveaway win. Yeah. Good. Don't forget this month's raffle. Please go and get your raffle. And if anybody uh, received the parcel, which they should have all, all the foreign ones should have started to arrive by now. Because it's what? Um, yeah, Son, Son just said that she had her big order. Sonja? Son, Sonia Friscus. Yes, yeah, So it's arrived. She had a big order. Sonia. <laughs> Yeah, that's what she said. She, she said it earlier on um, when you were going under the donut kit. So I just made a note. So she said she had her right. She had had her big order and she was very pleased with it. It's um those kind of orders because I mean, the the thing was we're doing the live ones. We're doubling up work really. Yeah. But um, I absolutely love it. And those I've got to thank those four ladies that bought those hundred pound kits. They are stunning. stunning. Yeah, there's a lot in there. And the bracelet that I showed in the video, I did manage to get the others one as well. Well, I'm saying that uh, because I said I would replace it with different um, bracelet if I had to, but uh, I did order them again and they let me know they're sending them out. So they should have the same. And it is a solid silver 925 heavyweight uh, bracelet and they're stunning. Somebody's just said, uh, Flowers and More says, Oh, I won the Fiona's Raffles. It was amazing. Oh, good. <laughs> like I said, go get your raffle tickets. Sonia's just said, Yes, it's gorgeous. Thank you for the extra goodies. That's what she's just said. Oh, you're welcome. You're more than welcome, sweetheart. That's what I'm saying. I want people to come back and shop with me. And it's not just so that I've got the customer, no, but it's nothing to do with that. You can shop anywhere in the world, of course. But I will give you the best quality, the best quantity, and the best price for your money. Um, Linda again says, oh, yay, I sent you my first fabric book, remember? I do, and I've got it here. It's here somewhere, right, but it's in a drawer somewhere, only because I've nowhere to put it at the moment on display, and I'm going to put them there because I got a beautiful one off Wendy. But Linda Gunn, she's Iceland, is she? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Linda. Yeah. See, I remember Linda. I do try and remember things and people and things like that. It takes a while for me to get it right sometimes. But, I, you know, I'm not all there. <laughs> of course I am. No, I'm getting a bit worried about that chewing gum. My stomach's feeling really iffy. Well, if we, if we haven't heard off you for a couple of days, you're on the toilet, still trying to string string gum. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Then says, "Please do not show it." Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm not having that filmed. Can you imagine that? Lights are come out. <laughs> you got your ghost to keep you company. Oh, you know what? I said Julie came home, so folks, my mate's back. Oh, God, she's. 
I've so missed her, right? But she came yesterday, last night. She phoned me and she went, hello. I went, hello. She went, it's me. I went, oh, it's me. I knew it, I knew it was her. She went, it's me, Julie. I went, hello, stranger. Oh, I have missed you. Where have you been? So we're having a chin. I got the phone and she went, I went, oh, I'll put kettle on. Are you coming down? She went, oh, I wasn't going to come till tomorrow. I'll just let you know we're back. I went, oh, Julie, you can't leave me now. You bloody phoned me and said you're here. So she went, put kettle on and I'm on my way down. I knew she'd come down. So she had to go take her son out so she could only stay an hour. Too good tacking into his work. So we were sat having a go. What was your bloody question? You said that, oh, my ghost. And while we were in the kitchen, a little person, and heard her for a couple of weeks, right? Dropped something on the floor in the bedroom above. And Julie's looking at me, and I look at her, I went, oh, just take the notice. She went, no, no, she said, but I heard that, definitely. Yeah, and she dropped something. And then we heard somebody coming down the stairs, but we left her. We just left her. Yeah. Somebody says, friendship like that is priceless. Well, when she came down, like I said, um, Raymond had been out and he'd come back. And he arrived same time as her, because he knew she'd been away for a month and he didn't know she were back. So he went, what are you bloody doing here? Because he's, he's awful. <laughs> she went, what are you bloody doing here? <laughs> he went, oh, you're back then. Oh, God help us. Normality. Normality. No, she, I opened the door, slung my arms round. Oh, no, I miss you. I love you. I miss you. I think I like a little bit of kids. She went, Oh, that's nice. <laughs> no, she gave me a big hug and gave me a kiss on my cheek. She went, I missed you as well. Oh, I went, No, you aren't. She went, I have. I said, You'd have come home earlier if you'd have missed me. <laughs> so, Raymond says, I might as well go home because I won't get a word in now. I went to that. Going back to the school. <laughs> He's off to work. Went to that. He said, "Go on, I'll go out." I went, go on then. To that. Uh, Don't come back till midnight. I love your work. Who does? Who does? Well, every time I pronounce a name, I pronounce it Angie, but it's not Angie. Uh, Angela Paisley. Is she on? I haven't seen her. Angela Paisley, if you're not on, um, but you get to watch this video, I have not forgotten to share. No, I can't share it now because it's got, I like to do that as a private video for it. You know what I mean? So that everybody sees it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not adding it onto this. But I have not managed to do yours only because we had the work guys around today and I've had the garden done and I like to sit downstairs and keep. Um, keep teas flowing. Yeah, keep teas flowing and cold water oh, with ice cubes. Not. She's on. I haven't She's forgotten. I will get it done this weekend. I do promise. I've got it ready at the side of me. And if I can do it first thing in the morning. I nearly did it at 5 o'clock yesterday morning. I've been up since 5 o'clock, you know. <laughs> and don't forget, ladies. Don't forget, I am not here from the 7th to the 15th. Do not stop shopping. Keep your orders coming. Because we've still got the staff working. Yeah, there's only me going on on break, not them. <laughs> and you, Paisley says, don't worry, hand love you lot. Thank you very much for being patient with me. Don't run off to another channel. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> don't be doing that video going, you know, that Fiona Jennings, she ain't done mine. I sent an all good is I'm on it, you know I am. I'm taking Mickey at myself. I'm taking you back on me, didn't you? I always take my care of myself. <laughs> well, I might as well join the club. Your, your paid channel going? Yes, I still have my paid channel going. I know uh, Angela has said, but she was mistaken. She said she did say she didn't know, but she thought that my channel, my paid channel, was down. It's not down at all. I've still got it open. Um, so don't worry about that, anybody. I know it could have made you feel that, oh, God, I paid me £11, whatever, um, and there's no videos. It is open. It's staying open. It's not going anywhere. If you read or see that it's somebody saying it's going down, it's a mistake on her part. That's all. Not having a go at her. Not having a go about her. 
Angela's just made a mistake like I've done before today. She knows I'm not having a go anyway. It's a mistake. She assumed it by accident. She'll be saying, oh, God, them two are out. No, no, we're not. I actually love um, Angela's creations. She's a very good artist. Artist. What are you doing? I, I, I'm, there's a lady on here and I, I'm pronouncing her name wrong. But I, I don't mean to do it. I do it with everything. I pronounce names yeah, wrong. Well, we can't all have the gift of everything. You know that, don't you? So, after the live, I will ask Fee how to pronounce Write it down. Pronounce Write it down and I'll see if I can help. I doubt if I can help. I can never say anybody's name. Look, are they dry? They're more or less dry, these. Look. See? Cuties. I find it very difficult to pronounce people's names half the time. Yeah. Pull it back, dear. Pull it back. Back. Angie. But it's not. Why isn't it? It's Angie. A N G I E. Angie. A N G I E. Yeah, Angie. Is Angie watching? Angie. Can she confirm it? Yeah. Fee, how? Somebody's got a question for you. How do I go about sending you some gifts? <gasps> sending me gifts. I like gifts. And I don't get heaps like people think I do and say I do. How do you do that? Right, if you send me, right, where's my paperwork? I'm going to write mine down. See if I get it right this time. Face it towards me. Face it towards you, right. Fee dot free style craft. G mail dot com. Right. If anybody would like to send me anything, and I'm not saying I'm asking for stuff, because don't get me wrong, Christ, I've been getting called a what's it now. It's just people do ask me for me address quite often. Have I got it right way around, lady? Uh, let's Ah, yes, yes. Fiona dot freestyle crafts with an S on the end at gmail dot com. So I'll leave that up for a minute. Um, just to let you know, what did you say? What did you say it was? And Angie. Angie. Angie said that is okay. You were saying it, saying it right. Yeah. Angie, but I'm just saying, um, if people do ask me all the time if they can have my address. So, um, if you just send me a message at this email address, I will message you back with my details. And of course, I would be delighted. I love, um, well, what woman doesn't like gifts? But yeah. some people keep telling me that I, I have them all the time, and I'm going. Why are you in my house? Do you know that? You know these. Well, it's true. I mean, they sit there, they're, they're talking on Skype and whatever, and they're going, "Oh yeah." She said, "I don't care about what you send me, you know." Oh yeah, ten pounds she charges for every hand. You might charge you five of those. It's not much good. And I'm go piss yourself. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I can't help it. I've got to be honest. Just go away, grow up, and don't come back. Well, you never know. They could be watching you through your camera. Pull the oh, candle. Oh, she's again. They'll she's never see me at a car boot selling somebody's goods that's made me. I'll tell you that now. I can't help it. And if there's any newbies here, I'm not what's in. I'm being bloody serious. And yeah, I've got any beef tonight. I've still got a beef about him giving me name. Uh, uh, my grandson, a thumbs down. A brand new baby. I know. 
they must be real wackos, sickos. They're not normal. No. They're, they're complete and utter assholes. You can't give a baby, a brand new baby, less than two week old, a thumbs down. Or a two year old. Somebody says that's just jealousy. They don't care what it is. They can piss off and do it somewhere else. We'll weed them out. We'll weed them out. I don't care. We'll manage it somewhere. Oh, we got a full Monty feed. Full Monty? Oh! You can, I'm going to watch my full Monty. Anybody seen that full Monty? I started to watch it tonight while I'm having to sit down. And I'm thinking, oh, I've got to finish watching. Oh, God, what time is it? And it went half past six. I'm thinking, oh, shit, I've got to go upstairs. I've got to film. I've got to go live. I want to watch the old Monty. You've seen them bodies on them men. I have not, but I, I'm presuming that I'm, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, he's fit. He might have, Ash, yeah. Ashley Banjo. Ashley Banjo. Yeah. I bet he's really fit because he dances all the time. He's got right abs in. He's nice. Bit of all right there. I'd have filmed for him. I'd have sat there with camera and filmed them all while they were making the film. I'd have done filming. <laughs> without a doubt. He might have a deal's a bit of all right, I know. Yeah. And he wouldn't take his clothes off. I'd have helped him. Well, it's cold. Well, what do you think happens? It's cold. Um, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Chippendales, it's not called Chippendales, is it? What's it called? <laughs> yeah, Full Monty. Yeah. What do you think they do when they do Full Monty? It's all right. I understand. The neighbours have enough to do today to, to see when they're going out to play. No, they're asking me what time I'm locking up. <laughs> <laughs> Just put, oh, just remember to have a big when you're watching. Oh, I, I can't wait to go back and finish watching it, mate. I want to gobsmack to them. They needed a woman there to help them, though. And I'm guessing you'd be front of the queue. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'll, I'll just make them a pouch each. But I'd have to go, <laughs> what size do you have? That size. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what size I am. I've been crushing them. I've crushed a Willy Wobble before today. Did you know? Well, you could make them out of those dolly packs. Yeah, no, no, I won't waste them on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've actually crocheted. Uh, Willy Warmers and sent them. You, you, they sent them to um, some foreign country for some or other. And there were proper Willy Warmers that we had to do. Yeah, they really were. We just crocheted them. But I was just hoping that whatever size they were, and we did, we had to do. Honestly, God, I'm not. I'm being really serious now. Don't anybody think she's lying. I'm not. I'm being deadly serious. We had to crochet Willy Warmers. And we had to do them in three lengths. <laughs> in three lengths. Yeah. So I felt sorry for any of them that had more <laughs> one inch and ten wrinkles. It went for some foreign country or other. I can't remember what it was. Actually wore them. I'm sure it was somewhere in South Africa. So it's what they wore. That's all yeah. they wore. Yeah. Want to keep them warm. I don't know how they call them willy warmers. What was that? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Well, it's 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 not you know it yeah it's nice it's fine it 
it's okay. It actually <laughs> happens. I'm sorry. I don't really apologise for anything I do, actually. I do apologise if I upset anybody. But if I upset anybody, um, I cannot help it. You do, you see. Yeah. But it's a fact of life. We had to make them, and so we had to do them in three sizes. And do you know what we're bugger about? Eh? Wouldn't you think they'd be just satisfied with a willy warmer? They actually ordered. No, they actually ordered striped ones. <laughs> Are we out to do stripy ones? Do you want the frig for? Hi, Theo. Pat French has put, hi, Fiona. I just joined you. And what's this about willy warmers? See, I told you. Well, look. Can you imagine a willy warmer? Look. Imagine a little willy like that. Right? I'll move, let me move that because that's black so you can see that. See? Little willy like that. Look at these willy warmers. And we have to do different sizes. Look. Can you imagine having to do that? See, me being creative, I would put lace on. I would and put lace on it around the bottom bit, and I'd hang a pearl off the end. <laughs> bling ones can you imagine them and somebody's just put and bling them out oh definitely yeah bling strips I all the way up <laughs> the, <laughs> the thing is if they went somewhere cold it'd shrivel what are that yeah see yeah. Oh, definitely put one of them on. <laughs> Actually, you can do it like Morris. Something, don't they? Morris dancers. Oh, that was funny. Oh, I like that. That was good. That tickled me. That you calm down now. And you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like a good laugh. Right. Look, we've still got 43 viewers, so that at least they're staying with us. Come on, ladies. Have a good laugh. You can't. You've got to have a laugh. Right today, do we? Anyway, I've got to say now, I'm going to change the subject. We're going a bit sullen now. I have to say. Well, hold that because I know you're going to folks. My phone's dying a battery, so I will be right back. All right, dear. I have to say, um, really, really horrified at um, the London block of flats that went up in flames. Uh, I know I've received some messages from some of you which is um to wish us you know all well and that well i don't live anywhere near london i'm more in the center of the country and i do feel for them so 
you know, there's still lots of people missing. Last night, when out tonight, when I heard the news, there was 30 dead. So the foreign people that have sent in, you know, I'm just basically letting you know um, there has been 30 found dead. There's lots more that's uh, missing. And um, yeah, it needs to be a big inquiry, I think. I think that people need to be patient because let the people, let the right people do their duty. Let the firemen do theirs, <clears throat> the job. Let the police do theirs. Let the investigators do theirs. I think what's happening at the moment, because there's a lot of anger and it's getting worse. There was a protest today. Yeah, but they, they're not leaving it long enough for the investigations to take place. You cannot go into a building and in five minutes figure out what's gone wrong. You can't. It takes time. Yes, I understand the people of London being angry because... Um, that should never have happened. It should never, ever have happened. But it did. Yeah. But you've yeah. got to give them time for everybody to do the jobs, all the information that they've got, or collect all the information. I think, because um, when they were interviewing one woman and she said, I'm looking for a missing family member. Mm -hmm. And the guy I interviewed he said, um, have you had help off the authorities? And she said, no, we're doing it all by ourselves. That, the, the lack of information that they're having. But the that, listen, you can't get a country any worse for that than us, right? When they want something from you, and we, it goes back to the same old things. We voted the leaders in. I'm sorry, we let them to rule our country. It's the same old reason. When they want it from you, it's immediate. When you want it from yeah. them, it's never coming. No. And we still let that happen. I don't blame them for getting angry, and I don't blame them. But, you know, that Theresa May, whatever you bloody call her, for her to wait, when did that happen? Two days ago, three days ago, and she's just gone She's just gone to hospital now. She only went because... She only visited the fire service, and she went back to Parliament. Yeah. Or whatever she's for number ten. And they and everybody kicked him a fuss and said, We're the victims. I know those firemen went in and they saved us all. Yeah. But we've got a deal with the fuck for the fact that we yeah. get out of our And plan. this is why this is why they're losing support because they can't get it right. When there's a problem, when there's a crisis, you have to be in on it, whether you get hurt or not. Show willing, show you care. You know what I mean? They should have been the first people. The high-profile people should be the first people out on them streets. Yeah. What it is, it's the same old thing. The community that get less and less and less are the first people yeah. out. And it's... Yeah. It just maddens me that we let it continually happen. Sorry. Some, somebody just said cutting corners on the proper materials usually result in someone getting hurt. But that's a well-known fact and always has been. It's never been any different, never will. And it'll get worse because the more they get away with it, the more they're going to get cut. The thing is, V, right, they can only go. They're only sending dogs in there at the moment because... The building is so unsafe, they can't send firefighters in at the minute. No, no. Frighten the rats. They can only go up to half the building. Yeah. Right? And what Chris said the other day, you sort of stop and you think about it. He said, I feel sorry for the residents who's living right there. He said, You must understand, there's, there's bodies in there, there's people yeah. that have died yeah. in that building. You can't get to them to bring them out. The as human beings, we, de we decay. When we die, we decay. Yeah. But it's that smell that's going to be in the air for a couple of weeks before yeah. we can take them out. Yeah. I just, um, it, the priorities are all wrong from everybody. The higher up the scale they are, the worse they are. The more money they've got, the worse they are. Sorry. Yeah. I think it's diabolical the way that this country runs its, you know, is run. Not yeah. runs itself, but is run. We've had, we had, we've had about four or five different incidents within the space of six weeks. Yeah. 
Yeah. We had the thing with Parliament. We had the Manchester attack. We had the London Bridge. And now we've had the, the, the fire in town. Yeah. Us yeah, but look what happens. That, that really pissed me off with I'm sorry. That with the London Bridge the first time that happened. They shut frigging Parliament down and kept everybody in. They, only, they, yeah. they locked themselves away. And left the streets yeah. open. So you were, you just tell me what's going to happen if we have a real catastrophe, right? Whether it be yeah. something out the skies, whether it be a terrorist attack or whatever, you tell me. All the frigging top brass people lock away in the bunkers. Shit you. Yeah, Go help yourself. Yeah. And that's what, yeah. that should prove now what that's going to be like. Yeah, It'll exactly. be every man for themselves while the parliament are tucked away in the little bunkers drinking and whatever. Yes. He says nowadays the only pro pro priority is money. So it's all it's about greed. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to say something there because throughout history it has always only been about three things, right? That well, power caused by greed, right? Um. Yeah. Oh God! What was I going to say? I like the greedy Ned now. Power. Yeah, but it's it's greed. It is greedy people. Oh, well, and then um, religion, religion, yeah. greed, and that's all it's about. That's all it's ever been about, and it's continuing to be the same, only getting worse. Yeah. That's all so it is. Greed, exactly. That's all it is, and do you know what? I can't. Uh, well, I can actually. I saw some girls the other day, you know, and I nearly went over to them and had a go. Because they were picking on children, teenagers, but they were effing and blind. Yes, they were effing and blinding. They were threatening to do all sorts to them. And I was watching them and listening to them, and I'm thinking, put your hand on that kid if you dare. Put your hand on that kid. I'll knock the fucking shit. Sorry. I'll knock the thin shite out of you. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big you are. Right? I would absolutely kick shit out of them because they were children they were picking on. I don't even think they knew who they were. They just passed them in the street. I don't know whether the little ones might have been a bit gobby or whatever. But when I come out, yeah. all I heard was them two girls, and then they just walked off and left these kids. But I'm telling you now, one of them threatened one, and I'm thinking, go for it, lady, because if you, well, lady, it laughed. Because I'm telling you now, I will yeah. pest you from here to kingdom come if you touch that kid. Whatever you like, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, they, they went off. Because there's, you can only take so much. Do you have a new thing that the kids are playing in school? No. Um, I can't remember what it's called, and they spray deodorant on the skin until it burns. It's a new trend, apparently. Oh, my, yeah, my eldest grandson had that gun to him. Somebody held his arm down while, he, while they did it, yeah, and he had a massive burn on the back of his hand. Yeah. Yeah, and then what they do, they spray um, deodorant, and they spray it so much it burns the skin. Yeah, that's what, they held him down while they did it. I, and I won't mind, he's a big lad, you know, he's tall, and I'm, no. But um, I, even an adult, if I saw an adult treat mistreating a child like that, a finger on them in front of me, I'd go over. I'd, I'd nut them. Yeah. I'd do them over. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because what is life becoming when a, a, an adult or an older child can do that to a younger child? I always think I'll tell you what it is. Do you remember the lad Bulger in Liverpool by them two nine-year-olds? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was two nine-year-olds picking on a well, a nine and a ten-year-old picking on a three-year-old, and they killed him, and they did everything they could to him. Never, if I ever saw anybody do anything to a child, I'd kill him, because that could be my grandchildren. Yeah, I, and I, yeah. Yeah. I think of it, and it could be my brothers. I haven't got children, but that's why I have in yeah. my mind. Somebody's put. Um, and two teenagers beat and killed an old lady last week. It, it, exactly the same. What do they get out of it? What is in their sick minds that they get out of thinking it's great to beat an elderly person? I'm, I'm only glad 
that I'm not a frail lady. Do you know what I mean? Because I will stand up yeah. for myself, and I will. I'd kill for myself if I had to. I'm the, you know, I could be the nicest person on this earth. Yeah, if I think I you're an ass, don't frigging cross me. And that I would. I'd kill. Somebody said, me too, nothing would stop me. No. That was Linda again. She said that. Yeah. And somebody said, if I saw anybody mistreating a child, I would end up in jail because I would totally lose my mind. Yeah, so would I. I'd go skit on them. In fact, I'd make them see and feel what that child was feeling. Yeah. I'd, do, I'd have yeah. to do it because I'd have to make them and wake them up to make them see what it's like to be picked on by an older person. You know, being and then yeah. be vulnerable and feel it. Yeah. 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 But I don't know whether I'd go too far. The thing is, you. I've been put in that situation. I haven't been put in that situation where a child is picking on a child. I've been put in that situation where a normal child, and I say normal, no disabilities, is picking on a child with disabilities. Yeah. And I've seen it and witnessed it with my own hands. And I literally, because I can't stand it, I can't. Yeah. Just like you, what beliefs you've got, I cannot stand people picking on sleep. Yeah. Do not see what they get out of it. Don't see where their mindset is because that disabled kid might not be able to speak. Yeah, I haven't got a clue what you're going on about. Yeah, and all you can do is stand there and laugh. Yeah, and it really grinds me. But I have been in that situation. But I've, I've worked with children, as you know, and it, there is a, a difference with some of them because some children do not understand only because the mentality side of them they're normal. They don't understand, they've not quite grown up enough to understand what a disabled person is and why they're like that. So they do take the mic, but they don't understand it. But once they understand it, yeah. then they have a different yeah. attitude. But then you do get the yeah. bully. Two kinds. I've seen it both. Somebody, somebody said, we are right. We as humans seem to be only interested in filling our pockets. Yeah. And all spreading hate. I am so tired of greed and hate for one another just because everyone is different. Well, it is. It is. I just. I just. I, I don't know. I wish. I wish I had the power. It's right. But you know, I'm sorry. I must be a real bitch deep down because I would start at the top. Yeah. They would be the yeah. ones I'd go for. The ones who are lying in the pockets and don't give them. They don't even know what it's like to go without a cup of tea. You know what I mean? Or a roast dinner. And yeah, yeah I'd start at the top. And boy, would I go through them. Um, Everybody who's trading in with donations, blankets, food. Mm. I mean, you see it on TV. The roads are filled with yeah. that. She's the maid goes there today and she goes off. Looks like you can't take any more stuff. I tell you what, page for everybody to put money in. And I sat there and I went, where's the money going to go? Where is the money going to go? They haven't said where it's going to go. And is it, are you going to be 100% certain that it's going to go on the residence? It'll somehow go back to them. It won't go to where it's supposed to, to the families that are left behind. No. no. Do you know what makes me laugh, though? It's, I know we've got a lot of charities in this country, and most countries have got charities. And um, we've gone on about charities before because I think they're nothing but greedy people, right? I, I just, we've got this um, lottery, right? There's millions and millions in that lottery. They don't share out every penny that's taken in, otherwise they won't be doing it. What's the point of that? So there's millions and millions in a pot. We get a catastrophe like this. The first companies one of the first people to step forward and say yeah. here's a 10 million at least make sure they can all get out somewhere in a hotel or whatever do you know what i mean yeah. go get yourselves off somewhere where you can stay um booking wherever you can don't worry about the cost we'll fuck the bill yeah, yeah. it won't even make a dent in their friggin money but no, no we've got no. neighbors having to you know offer their homes to token strangers yeah. Fives. That's what you are because they were saying it to one of the government people. 
and she said, why haven't you offered the press back for the whole to have? You can see we've got nothing. We've got the clothes that we stood up being coming out of that building. Yeah. And we are sleeping on a floor in Most. And what was the answer? No way to go. What was the answer? They didn't answer it. Yeah. They shrugged it off. Oh, we're doing an investigation. We're doing an I'm thinking, you won't actually answer the question. And that's not helping the people and how they feel. He says, um, I didn't hear about the Red Cross or Oxfam or any well known no. charities helping the terror block people. No. I didn't die that. But what I'm saying um, is, and that's what I'm saying, they, with the first point of call, when we've got a, a massive thing like this, should be all those that do things for charity, right? Yeah. Which are yeah. all our charities, the, um, what I've just said, the lottery, and our government. Yeah. And not one yeah. of them have come forward. Not one. No. Yeah. The people that we've helped set up for these things. Yeah. yeah. That should tell you something. Yes. Stop giving to charities and go straight to the source. Somebody says, but that's being sensible on caring. Somebody else says, I don't know if it's the same saying in English, but we say, fish starts thinking from the head. Thinking yeah. from the head. Yeah. We were brought up to respect people. The trouble is, they can't be named. I say, name and shape. They know what they're doing. Somebody else says, she was on the news mail today. She looked like a bulldog chewing a wasp. And when I asked why she didn't talk to people or send army in, she didn't wait, you know, send people. When asked why she didn't talk to people or send army in, so she said. The, the, somebody else says, churches have the deepest pockets and you never see them out helping those in need. Well, I, they say it's a, I know these are touchy subjects right and i know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of people who believe and have faith and things like that but you've got to ask yourself where are they the churches are well off and they are yeah a lot of the churches are where they when you say a lot of the churches Look, you might have 50 churches of one particular kind of throughout the country and then 50 of another kind, you know what I mean, for whatever religion. The thing is, they're all supposed to support their... But where are they? When did the vicar come out and say, God, here's my church, they're using the space. Never mind the congregation on a Sunday. You know, go and use my space. We'll move the pews, go make beds there. Do that. That's what they've done. The tower blocks, mosques and churches. They have. I'm on about the normal ones. Oh, I see what you're saying. The mosques have done it because it's their people that have been injured and hurt. But the majority of people that were killed and hurt have been yeah, uh, foreign saying, foreign bodies. Meaning, I'm not disrespecting them whatsoever. So they've done it. When have we done anything for them? I see what you're saying. When have our charities that these people go and spend a lot of money in, when have they come out and said, here, quid, here's 10 million quid? I don't, I don't, like I say, I do not understand why they set up that government page for people to come in. Because Kate always Williams' wife, yeah. Kate Middleton, her and Harry have put a lump sum into this government page. You see? they're the younger generation do you know what i mean and they'll do that yeah but is that money going to go back to the registers do you know what um, most of the money that will go into that account will get eaten up in red tape yeah that's what will happen to it it won't go to anything yeah. no i mean how many disasters have we ever gone through and all of a sudden we've had these put this pot of money that's supposed to be there for them and then all of a sudden they're saying well we never reached it we never got that because, oh, well, it got eaten up in red tape. Yeah. They need to stop that bullshitting. I'm sorry. Somebody said, so sorry. Um, I have a walk and two months ago, the lever was broke. So I needed to go into the running stairs metro. I was halfway up and someone in hurry knocked me all the way down. 
and I was all broken, battered and bruised. Because they don't care people today. They don't care about themselves and they don't care about other people, the younger ones. No. And these yuppies that are, I'm sorry, oh God, that are born with silver spoons in the mouth, that are fucking um, Rolls Royce up their ass. Sorry. They don't care about anything or anyone. Else. I I've never known sorry. such dumb asses in my life. God, the higher up they are, the more they get educational-wise, the thick as pig shit. And all they care about is their next, you know, Five pound cup of coffee yeah. perched yeah. on the frigging seat outside of some posh shop. <laughs> yeah, but I know what you're saying. It's true. So, somebody, somebody says, Got to go, ladies, until next time. Now, Miss Marilyn Jones. Somebody else says, May will probably tax it all, tax all the money. Of course she will. probably will, since she said the blood page. Of course she will. He says, I've broken a hip or, or Sonia says, I've broken a hip or something. Thank God I didn't. I could have broken a hip, falling down. Yeah, she did. She's had uh, an accident, yeah. But, you know. He says, the old army that would have been there would have been the Salvation Army with a T-Wagon. Yeah, that's true. See, I worked for the Salvation Army. I worked for them when I was younger. I did as well. Yeah. Straight. Yeah. And they did good, and they were there for the right reason, doing the right thing at the right time. No matter what religion it was, yeah. no matter um, who you was, where you've come from, yeah. they took anybody in. Yeah. And that was a new history. Yeah. I, I worked in a, what do you call it, normal nursery, a yeah. salvation nursery. Tell the difference. I just think it's all gone to pop. I mean, the government are only going to do things for themselves. No doubt there'll be somebody fiddling that pot. Yeah. They all fiddle. A bunch of fiddling sobs. All right, I'm packing in now because I'm tired. I'm going home. <laughs> hey, we went from one extreme to another, didn't we? I don't care. I think we should talk about these things. I think people should express their opinions and, and feelings and whatever. It doesn't mean you have to agree, because I don't agree with all what you've said. It doesn't mean you're wrong. That's well, you never said so. What didn't you agree with? I don't agree with the church. I In our community, the church just to open the doors through the week. So I'm not agreeing 100% with you there. Yeah. Well, we've got a church local to us, right, that I used to go to when I was six. We used to go to Sunday school. And then we used to go to Sunday church thing in my bob with my parents. But I'll tell you now, you never see that frigging church open. It does the odd wedding. Yeah, see, see, our church has got something going on on a Monday, um, something going on on a Tuesday, Bible studies and music class because the vicar plays at the town. In the week. Yeah. Sunday school. It's just all different things going on with our church. Guess what they built at the side of our church? Yeah. Guess what they built at the side of our church? Pub. Pub. <gasps> it's a working men's club. So they come out on a Sunday from morning, Sunday mass, and they cross the path and they go in the pub. And all the things that they're not supposed to do, they freaking do. How hypocritical is that? A pub. A pub, right next door. That's how bloody what's it they are. Um, but it makes you laugh. Because they go in there, they do all the praying and they do all the whatever, and then they come out of there and go in the pub and do everything that they shouldn't do. That's shocking. I know it is. I know. What I'm saying is, yes, we should talk about these types of subjects, but what I'm saying is if somebody doesn't agree, they don't have to be nasty with their opinion. No, no, because no. You just have to agree to disagree. Not everybody's opinions yeah. are the same. I get rat assed. Stand <laughs> stupidity for one. No. I can't stand stupidity. I and I can't abide assholes. I'm sorry, I can't. 
And whoever those two were that put the thumbs down for that video of my new grandson and granddaughter are assholes. They are. They and if you don't like it, don't friggin' watch and turn it on. Some, some of the ladies have gone to bed now. I'm going. She's, she's going home. <laughs> I'm going to make myself a nice cup of coffee and watch my uh, muscle men. Okay, then. Next time we'll report back. You were a bit of chunky, though, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Chunky monkey. I think I'm going to watch that, too. And I might, I might just, while I'm there... While I'm watching Sally, I might just crochet a few willy warmers and send them over somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with bells on. So, ladies and gents, I shall say good night. God bless. Thank you very much once again. Colette. Thank you very much, everybody. Don't forget to go watch Colette's video. I will do it shortly. That's, uh, I'm going to say Colette Garland, that you know what. No. That's at Country Creations. Creations with a K. Hey. Thanks to everybody hey. for stopping by. I don't mean to offend anybody, but you're going to get it straight from me. I don't pull no punches. And I am what I am. What I am. I am. Ringy dingy ding. <laughs> I haven't got a ringy dingy ding, but I might make one. I think Colette likes um, ring a ding dings. I'm gonna watch for Monty, that's what I'm gonna do. I like Ashley Banjo. I know. I just like the fit bodies. I can put a paper bag over the legs of bodies, they'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I'm really saying good night. I remember it well. Raymond till he got middle aged spread. <laughs> God bless. Mwah. Speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now. Bye. See you later. I'm going to get me thing and turn off. Bye, everybody.